Let me ask you something. If you identify as a highly sensitive person or an empath, is it sometimes challenging for you to step into your own vision that you have for your life? Is it, is it sometimes challenging for you to allow yourself or give yourself permission to really want for something, to desire something so much that even the thought of it fills you with anticipation or anxiety or, or maybe even overwhelm? I know for a lot of highly sensitive people and empaths, this is the case. And today I want to share an experience that I recently had with a client in the event that it might help you as well. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Evans. I'm a self-care and empowerment coach working with empaths and highly sensitive people around the world. If you're ready to see your sensitivity as your greatest asset, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. One thing that I've seen in my clients time and time again is this incredible gift that they give to others, putting others before themselves, putting their dreams, their desires, the visions that these other people have for their lives ahead of their own. And part of that's because of their identity as highly sensitive and empathic people. They, they want things for other people. And because they are so attuned to what other people are feeling, it makes them that much more generous in the space that they're holding for others. That being said, I want us to explore what it would be like for you to give yourself permission to hold space for your vision, for your greatest desire. I recently had a session with a client of mine. She's highly sensitive and she's someone that I've been working with on and off for a couple of years. And she has a vision for something that she wants in her life. This is something that she's been dreaming about for over a decade. And now it's actually within her reach. However, when we talked about what it would be like to imagine this thing happening for her, she literally shrunk back away from me as I was talking about it. When I asked her what it felt like to step into that space of having this vision and having this thing actually manifest for her, she went, no, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> and that's a common response. So we created a strategy, a tool for her to be able to use to give her permission to step into that space of it actually having manifested in her life. And the way that we did that is by creating a safe space where she could be in that sensation, in that feeling that this thing that she so wants in her life has already happened for her. But what I, what I want you to notice is that <clears throat> we develop habits and patterns of belief or story, right? Like, I can't step into the full belief of assuming this amazing thing is going to happen to me because I might get let down. So yeah. if I don't even step into that, assuming the yes, if I don't even step into believing that I could potentially receive this gift, then there's no risk of heartbreak. There's no risk right. of letdown. There's no risk of vulnerability. There's no risk of opening yourself up, right? What we can do to start shifting that is doing exactly what you're doing, which is we develop rituals that give us a safe space to step into that belief. So yeah. right now the ritual is I'm going to take this medication. I have a ritual afterwards where I know I need to exercise right away. And when I'm exercising, I can put myself into this mental state in this safe space while I'm riding the bike or on the elliptical or on the treadmill and I can fully allow myself to immerse in the belief that this is going to happen for me. And then that becomes your safe space to do it. And if it doesn't happen anywhere else, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. You have this ritual that's now been created where that can be your safe space and yeah. you can just let it run wild because that ends up being your safe space, because that ends up being the place where you know you're doing your part. You're actively participating in the yes happening. Yep. You're not passively sitting back going, right. I'm not even going to go there because right. the opportunity for heartbreak is so high. Right. Well, you know what? The opportunity for the yes is also so high here. <laughs> 
all of us have things that we desire for our life. All of us have a vision of what it is we want to manifest. And, and that vision might not be clear for you yet, but I can tell you it's there. It's just a matter of giving ourselves permission to be fully in that space of it already having happened for us, that we've done what I call assume the yes, that it's going to work out, that it's going to be created, that we've stepped into this space where it's already there for us, waiting and present and alive in our lives. By creating this safe space challenge, you too can step into those places and give yourself permission to fully immerse yourself in the sensation of what it's like to have that thing you so desire in your life. I would love to know if you found this video helpful and what your biggest takeaway from it was. Be sure to comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're interested in stepping into your sensitivity even more, I'd like to invite you to book a free empowerment session with me. You, me talking about what it is you want to manifest in your life and how we can turn your sensitivity into your greatest asset. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. I'll see you soon. Stay ignited out there. Bye.